everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the first time you've been here before. My name is Jordan Miller and I review boxing gear. Today I have an unboxing and first impressions of a pair of gloves I haven't tried before, Mexican made from Mexico, uh, new sporting. So let's get into it. All right, so today with this unboxing, a couple unique things. One, I've never used new sporting gloves. I'm aware of them, I'm familiar with the brand, with the gloves. I've watched reviews of others and, and I'm interested in these boxing gloves. So that's a new for me Two, uh, I have two pairs of boxing gloves from New Sporting to check out. I got a lace up version and a Velcro version. So uh, let's just jump into it. See what we got here. So I'm always careful with this part. I don't want to mess up the gloves. Obviously, this has some cardboard underneath it, so we should be okay there. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get these. Set up so that is the lace up pair and the velcro. Okay, um, start with these velcro. All right, so velcro. Well, let's set these up first. I mean, as I'm unboxing these, I have that, it's that strong Mexican leather smell, um, which I really like. So let me set these up like that. Actually, we'll just put them side by side. All right, so uh, each of these gloves are 14 ounces. Um, obviously they differ in colorway and they differ in their closure. One is a lace up, one is a Velcro. And also uh, they differ in leather, not just, a, I'm not referring to the colorway, but in that this one we got metallic leather to, to review um, and, and see how that is. Um, this one has some metallic on the palm, but you know, really with metallic leather, I feel like depending on how good the leather quality is, you're pretty safe to like put it on the thumb or palm side and maybe see less or no chipping or wear, but when it's on, the, the punching surface, it, if there's going to be chipping and wear and tear, you're going to see it pretty quick um, there just because of all the abuse it takes. So let's do, a, we're going to do a walk around of the both gloves. Um, we'll, we'll look at the build quality, look at the leather uh, stitching liner, and we'll put them on the scale. So these are both 14 ounces. Um, we'll, we'll see what they weigh. I'm always curious about that, uh, particularly with Mexican made gloves. Um, and then we'll, and then we'll try them on and get, get our first impressions of them. Uh, so, so yeah, that's the plan. We'll, we'll jump into the walk around and, and see what these, see what these gloves are made of. All right. So let's do a walk around of the gloves. We'll start off with these Velcro ones. So looking at the leather first, we have this metallic silver leather, um, across the back as well as some of the palm and the wrist. So a lot of mostly metallic silver, then non-metallic black, metallic red, non-metallic blue. Um, this, this leather feels decent. It feels good. Like this is solid. This isn't, you know, blow me away. Like, oh my gosh, this is like, you know, top tier leather, but it's not cheap either. So it's, it's solid, good quality leather is is what it feels and looks like to me um, looking at the stitching uh, nice stitching around the label here i do like their logo um, new sporting even though it is a it's a lot more words than i'm typically used to i like stuff a little more clean but i do like this i think it looks nice um, looking at the stitching still across the back uh, thumb is nice across let's still do the Velcro. Okay, looking across the palm. I don't know what this is. Maybe that's just like a scuff. It's just like 
It looks like maybe a thread that got maybe cut off, burn off, I don't know. Um, stitching, I think could be like tightened up through here. It's kind of like, it's a little crooked on the top of the grip bar, but it's nice around here and the side of the glove. So good stitching. Uh, liner. Um, this is nice. Um, normally I feel like it's kind of this rough canvas bag, um, but this is a nice smooth kind of satin sort of polyester feeling liner. Uh, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, overall solid build. And this is the first time I've used one of these larger like wrap around uh, gloves. So let's throw them on the scales. This is one of the things that's like the biggest question mark for me with Mexican made gloves, as you can see. 14 on the tag. Um, I'm expecting these to weigh around 16. So 16.9. So a little over 16. That might be, you know, it is a lot of, a lot of loop. 17.3. Um, so close to each other. But again, these are weights I would expect of like a non-Mexican made glove of like a 16 ounce. So if you like 16 ounce gloves, 14 ounce, and that's why I chose them in 14 ounce, so that's the way to go. All right, so looking at the lace-up pair now, checking out the leather. Um, this non-metallic leather up here compared to the other one, the grain doesn't feel like so pronounced, um, which is not bad or good, it's just different. Um, and then this also has metallic, but it, this navy, it's a very subtle uh, metallic color to it, um, which I like because I think it doesn't show the chipping as much if that happens, but uh, still still has that kind of shine, you know, and, and, and uh, uniqueness that, that metallic leather does. So, and on the palm side, um, again, good quality leather, solid. It's not cheap, um, but it's not boutique, ultra high end. Uh, stitching. Stitching is nice across uh, this triple thumb. Um, nice across the, the back of the thumb and the split thumb. Palm side is looking good. This looks uh, like nicer than, than the Velcro one. Um, def this is really nice, I think, up here underneath the fingertip area and along this side. So really good stitching. Um, and let's check out the, the liner is the same as the other one. So kind of this kind of nice satin polyester, not a, not a rough canvas. So, so that's comfortable. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's the colors or, or what, but uh, I, I think I like these one a little bit more, uh, than the Velcro ones. Um, let's throw them on the scale, see if we have a similar situation to the others, like was the other ones, was it just because they have a really big strap or is it the gloves? So again, these are also 14 on the tag and this is 16.5. Okay, grab the other glove, 17.3. Let's try here, 17.3. So yeah, again, 14 on the tag for both of these, but weighing 16 and a half ish, 17 ish. So close enough to each other. But again, weights I would expect with a glove marked 16, not a Mexican made glove. So I, I intentionally chose 14 ounce on the tag, uh, expecting them to weigh and also kind of be the profile of a 16 ounce glove. But just want to highlight that if you also like to size down a um, for that same reason, uh, now you know what to do with these ones. So that's the walk around. Uh, next, we'll, uh, we'll move on to trying them on, see how they feel. All right, so that's the walk around of each glove. Um, good leather. I, I think it's uh, I think it's solid leather. The the stitching is also good, and the liner is is nice. Um, with other Mexican made gloves uh, that I've used, often like a canvas liner is pretty standard, and it can be kind of rough. Um, and you know, a little uncomfortable. It's not the end of the world. It takes a little getting used to. And honestly, in like the middle of a workout, at least me personally, I don't really notice, but this is, um, I mean, it might be a little canvas might be like satin polyester, but it's smoother. 
um, and more comfortable. It's not that like thicker, silky material. It's not that, that you might like on the Adidas at a speed, 1v1, fly, etc. cetera. Um, and it's not like the moisture wicking that you see with the uh, rival RFX Guerreros or Hit and Moves boxing gloves. So kind of a standard like satin polyester, like good quality liner and, and, and that's really nice. The weight, so 14 on the tag, uh, each of them having a glove a little over 16 ounce, like 16.5 ish, and then the other glove being like 17 ish ounces. So close enough to each other, you know, a half ounce, uh, that, that's fine. I don't, you know, you know, really as you're boxing, you're, we aren't sensitive enough, we're gonna pick up, you know, that half ounce difference. Um, but uh, kind of a, these, as far as weight, compared to the tag, this is what I, what I typically uh, uh, expect from Mexican made gloves. It's not a knock on them, this is not a criticism, it just is what it is. If you want, if I want a pair of gloves that I think that are gonna weigh about 16 ounces and have the fit and feel of a 16 ounce, I usually order a 14 ounce. And sometimes, like with my Russian boxer gloves, I actually ordered a 12 ounce. So um, with these ones, um, the reason 14 ounce was selected was because, uh, because I wanted a glove about 16 ounces. So I, you know, that I got what I expected. So, so happy with that, but definitely that's something to know if you are interested in these gloves, if you want to size down, um, if you want 16 ounce, I would, I would get the 14 ounce ones. So now, uh, let's try them on. And, uh, that's the part, you know, I'm most excited about. want to see the, get an idea for how comfortable they are, the fit and feel. Um, and, uh, give you my first impressions before we, before we put them, put them to use. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Profile, uh, both. So top to bottom, wrist length. I would say this, this feels like a good average sized, average length of, of, like, a six, of like a standard 16 ounce glove for, of, for most brands. Um, this is not a long cuff. This is not like a Kleto that I feel like almost goes to my elbow, but I wouldn't call this a, a short cuff either, like, a, like 1v1. Um, even in like hit and move, those were kind of a shorter cuff. So it's, it's kind of right in the middle maybe like a, maybe like a winning, uh, fly, just like a, a nice average kind of, uh, average length, um, of, of cuff here, uh, which is nice. Um, profile side to side, same thing, kind of, a my, my pinkies here again with wraps and, or, you know, if I put anything else in here, boxing hand grenades, knuckle guards, whatever, fast wraps, it's gonna take up some more room, but you know, I got about an inch of space here on the side. So that's enough room typically to comfortably accommodate that extra stuff you put on. Definitely wraps, always wraps, but if you use knuckle guards or boxing hand grenades or things like that, it feels like there's enough room to do that comfortably in these gloves. We'll see after I use them. Um, but yeah, that's just to give you an, uh, an idea of the profile side to side, I would say kind of typical of like an average 16 ounce pair of gloves. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's, that's kind of, yeah. So my hand is not swimming in here, which is great. Um, that is, that is sometimes a concern. Like if I think if I got 16 ounce that that would probably be going on. So again, I'm just glad again, I, I chose the 14 ounce. Um, so that's, that's the profile. Um, I think kind of an average 16 ounce pair of gloves. Uh, broken in very nicely. This is very comfortable, um, this, uh, this feel. Okay, compartment by compartment. Uh, fingertip area, um, the depth of the fingertip part pocket is great. Um, it's lining, it's my fingers able to turn over enough that my knuckles are lined up nice over this punching surface here. Um, there's plenty of room side to side. My fingers don't take up the full space, 
So I have medium sized hands. So if you had larger ones, I would expect, you know, uh, that they, this size should accommodate your hand as well. Um, and it's holding my fingers. It's like snug this way, but it's not pinching or, or uncomfortable. So that's nice. Um, down in the fingertip area, it does feel like maybe there's like a, a piece of felt in there. Um, and then there's definitely like this kind of rolled seam in here that you can curl your fingers over to really kind of dig into the pocket and grip onto something to turn your hand over. Um, so it's, I like the fingertip compartment, uh, the depth and the overall how, how comfortable it is. Um, the hand compartment is, again, I said kind of an average amount of space for like a 16 ounce glove. Uh, my knuckles are lined up right where they should be over this, this punching surface. And this looks like a pretty good, pretty flat punching surface, which I really like. So I'm, exp I'm hoping for some nice feedback when I, when I get to use these, um, thumb placement, this thumb placement feels, it feels good. It's, uh, the seam here, uh, where the glove, where the thumb attaches to the body, my, it's not cutting into my webbing. Um, but, it, it is holding my thumb in place so it's not slipping up and moving around a lot. Um, my thumb comes to about right here, so I still have a little bit of space. It's not jamming at the top. Um, and there's some good firm padding on this. Um, so I feel like the back side of the thumb is well protected. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice kind of classic, you know, uh, at least what I think classic Mexican kind of style glove, kind of this mostly parallel, slightly curved um, at the end thumb, which is one of my favorite uh, uh, thumb designs. So, so it's placed right on the body and I like the shape of it, it's well protected. Uh, wrist area, triple cuff across the back. I like that, especially with laces, you have these nice tracks for you to wrap around and get a secure grip. Um, you have this cylindrical padding on the palm side. This is just a little tight up here, but I feel like if that were loosened up, um, I'll be, this will be able to come around to the palm side better when, uh, when I lace them up, but I am able to push this around. So I do think it's going to wrap around the wrist. Nice. Um, this is, this padding is pretty stuffed in here. Um, so it is, it is pretty firm, uh, on the palm side, um, as well on the back side. That's pretty firm in there. So with lace up gloves, unless there's something really weird going on with the stitching and, and stuff, you get really good wrist support, which is why I almost always have, uh, or most of my gloves are lace up gloves for that reason. So, and then finally foam, it is, okay. It's medium density. This is not, this is, you could maybe a little bit of a puncher's glove. Like I feel my knuckles going into the padding on the inside, but they're not coming all the way through. And, and you can see there's, there's a little bit of give up here. So they're a little soft, but then when they get through that probably outer layer of padding, when they get to the next one, I'm assuming there's a two layer, at least two layers here. That's where it kind of firms up and, and stops. So kind of a nice in between knuckles coming through, but still somewhat protective. So, uh, I like that. So we'll see how it performs later on, but yeah, that's my first impressions. I'm going to try on the Velcro. I'll, I'll just, I'll comment quickly if I notice anything significantly different, um, with, uh, compared to this one, I'm hoping they're the same. Cause I really like this one. As I mentioned, when I weighed them, this Velcro, they're doing the full loop all the way around. So some people like that. Some people don't. This is my first pair of gloves with this much of a hook and loop strap. Okay, so let's... Okay, so profile feels the same, about the same length, same amount of space, same width, fingertip compartment, same, knuckles line up the same, ergonomics of the hand compartment feel the same, thumb feels the same. It's a little different, the feeling here, but that's just because 
there's just an elastic band here and, and it's not, you know, you can't tighten it up like with the laces. But that, so that's just a function of these being Velcro. And uh, obviously the wrist feels a little different with it being Velcro, but um, it feels very thick. Obviously there's, you know, about this much leather and, uh, and padding um, just on the back side. So now these, these feel essentially the exact same as these. A little bit different because of the Velcro, um, but other than that, nothing, nothing significant. So yeah, nice flat punching surface. All right, so now let's kind of summarize everything and wrap up. All right, so wrapping up uh, my first impressions of the gloves. So they, so I think overall solid build, good leather, good stitching, I think, uh, and a nice, and a nice liner. Um, so solid, good, good stuff here. Um, fit, I really like the fit. Um, the fit surprised me a little bit. Um, other Mexican made gloves, um, I've, I've tried on before and, and they just, some of them just feel a little like clunky on my hand. Like my hand, like my hand kind of rattling around inside too much, too much space, even when I size down, um, and just pinch points in odd spots. Again, just not, doesn't fit like a glove. Doesn't, doesn't feel like a glove. Just feels a little odd. None of that here. So a really, a really comfortable uh, experience for the hand in the glove and I really like the my first impressions of the padding that's probably my favorite this this kind of nice mix of you know some softness to to get some some of that feed some of that you know just tactile feedback your knuckles coming through that sensation that a lot of people like myself included but still some protection you know so so you are uh, protecting your hands and avoiding injury and so th that padding and also just how my knuckles line up um, over the punching surface. I'll need to open these up more and get a flashlight down in there. I'd be curious to see if they've done any sewing on the inside. Some like my, I've some other gloves like my 14 ounce Salvador. I don't know if they did that, but it looked like they did and it really lined up the, the, your knuckles across this punching surface like even better. We'll see if they did something like that, but but that's, I think, what stood out to me the most and what I'm most excited to ch about the gloves is to, to experience is that punching experience because it, it just lined up so nice over there. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching this uh, unboxing and first impression of these new sporting boxing gloves in 14 ounce. Um, now I get some time to, to test them out put them through their paces, and then I'll come back with a full review of these gloves. So if, if you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, hit that thumbs down button two times to really let me know you didn't like it. Comment down below what you think of the gloves, if you have any questions about them, other videos you might like to see. Uh, be sure to follow me on my other social media platforms. My name is Jordan Miller on YouTube, uh, on Instagram and TikTok. I post little shorts of, uh, uh, me training uh, and, and kind of testing out the, the boxing gear I review. Um, also other just like product shots and stuff like that. And it's just a nice place to interact with subscribers in the community and talk about all things boxing, upcoming fights, gear, uh, and whatnot. Um, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos, not miss the full review of these gloves or any of my other videos we got planned to come out. So appreciate you guys checking out this video. We'll see you next time.